The event, which started off with a gender-based violence awareness march in the streets of Hentis Bay, attracted a handful of primary school children. Majority of the adults, who are often the perpetrators and victims of GBV, were busy with their usual month and chores and were not near the event. Look at the attendance of today. It's not that they did not hear about this event. They hear about it. But I tell you today strongly, believe me, it's not that I'm promoting church. But if we call for church events, you will find most of our elders there. So I think we should strongly start addressing gender-based violence in churches. The head of the police community affairs in Erongo agreed with the councillor and added that the GBV talk should be taken everywhere, including Shibin's political events and the churches. Let us identify those issues that give impetus to this crime. Let us speak openly to those who are the victims and also speak openly to those who are perpetrators. We therefore need to come together on daily basis, engage one another, so that we can send, spread the message of GVV. To prevent crime is also to report crime. Ne? Domestic violence or gender-based violence is not a, a secret. We, it needs to be reported for the victim as well as a perpetrator to get help. Community health worker Melvis Tsutseb has observed a relation between sexual GBV and HIV status of residents. Since January, 350 GBV cases have been reported to the police in Erongo compared to 376 cases in 2019. Most partners um, refuse, especially the males, are afraid to go take their HIV status and then they neglect and then they stay um, in the location you know they don't want to go there so once their partners are asking them to go for HIV testing sometimes they get aggressive and sometimes when the partner is asking for protection because they don't know their status that's where they tend to violence Renate Rinkura, NBC News Hentis Bay